Hi beautiful people. So if you've not seen my last video, please go watch that before this one because it's the preface to this one where I talk about if you believe something is wrong and you feel strongly about that, then you should not just sit back neutrally and think, well, you know, I don't want to tell everyone what to do. No, like you should take action and actually show that you think that by doing something about it, right? Like that is the whole video and it's, I don't know, I think it's really important to watch before you watch this one. So just Put that out there. Please go watch that one first, okay? This video is gonna be answering this question. Can we be both pro-life and pro-love? And I'm not gonna wait till the very end of this video to answer it. I'm gonna say right now, I think the answer is yes. And I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of absolutely beautiful people and absolutely amazing organizations who are doing just that, who are in the pro-life movement, but doing it in a way that is loving and that is full of grace, okay? And that's where I get the idea for, an inspiration for this title of this video. It comes from one of the first organizations I'm gonna be sharing with you today, all about grace, all about love. That is what this video is going to be about. This video, my goal is not to sit here and be a judge, to point fingers, to condemn, to say, you are evil, you are bad, the decisions you made have all been bad, and you are an awful person. That is not the goal of this video. The goal of this video is to, again, be all about grace and love and redemption. And the reason why I'm sitting here is because I've been shown love and I've been shown grace by God. And so I want to share that with the rest of the world too, to show love and to show grace to other people. So I am not the judge. I'm not going to point fingers. I'm not going to sit here and condemn because that is not my job to do that. Um, I'm going to try with all that I have in me to be loving and to be kind, but yet to tell you and to speak up about these amazing organizations who are also doing that, right? Just showing love to people and helping people have these beautiful testimonies of redemption by God. So with that being said, I love ya and let's jump into the video. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to seven folks who are doing amazing things. Before I even say anything, I know people are gonna comment something like this, okay? Yes, a lot of these people are in the political world. So no, I don't agree with them on absolutely everything politically and some of them are not Christian. So absolutely, like I don't agree with everything they believe about faith and about God. But, but they are amazing people in the pro-life movement, leaders doing awesome things. So again, if you if you comment something like, well, but I don't agree with them on everything politically and religiously, well, okay, that's not what this is about, right? So a lot of them are Christian and a lot of them I do align with very strongly politically, but not everything and not with everyone. So I just wanna make that abundantly clear. It's not about politics today. This is about being pro-life and, and what they're doing for this movement, okay? So with that being said, these are the seven people. And I'm gonna read a list because I don't wanna forget anyone because I always forget people. So Amy Ford, Abby Johnson, Dr. Leventino, Leela Rose, Ben Shapiro, Ali Beth Stuckey, and Steven Crowder. Now there are may many, many way more, many, many way more people out there doing amazing things, but these are the people that I have been really inspired by and people who I support, like their ministries, I support them uh, financially and, and just in general, like I, I'm, I support what they do, right? So I'm gonna get into detail about a lot of them and their ministries, but also at the end, just kind of say, okay, these people have awesome podcasts, go check them out, I'll link them for you, okay? Everything will be in the description, by the way, everything. I have it already on my computer ready to go, like all the little links. So this is not stuff I'm fabricating and making up, right? If I name statistics or talk about things, there's gonna be absolutely sources that you can go check out for yourself to make sure that I'm not just making this up on my own, okay? So let's finally talk about these people, shall we? Amy Ford is probably the name that you might not recognize out of all those people, right? I talked about some of them in the last video and you've probably heard of some of the other names like Ben Shapiro and stuff, but Amy Ford is one that you need to know, okay? She started a ministry called Embrace Grace and that is the ministry that completely inspired the title of this video. It is all about grace and loving women who have had unplanned pregnancies, loving them throughout the entire pregnancy and helping them, supporting them and just showing them love and showing them you are not alone throughout this. Like you can do this and just supporting them, counseling them. She and another woman started this and I am 100% supportive of it. I have written them letters telling them how much I love them and they wrote me back, it's on my desk and uh, I just love what they do. They do two different things, okay? One is they have a curriculum that you can implement in your church, which this is, by the way, this whole video is about how you can get involved in the pro-life movement and what you can do to do it in a way that's, you know, in truth, like you are pro-life, like believing that and, and living that out and do it in a way that's loving, right? All this stuff is about that. So if you wanna get involved, here's the first way you can get involved, right? You can start this curriculum at your church, which is all about having women who have had unplanned pregnancies or who are, who are pregnant with an unplanned pregnancy, gathering weekly and just talking, supporting them, loving them through that. It's a Christian Bible-based curriculum. It's just awesome. All about grace, all about redemption, and it's amazing. You can be a leader, you can incorporate the curriculum in your 
your church, like you can present it to your pastor or whoever's in charge of that and show them this is awesome and I wanna get this started. Can we do this? Like, is this possible? So talking about that with your church and this is what's so beautiful about this organization, what I love about them. Um, they have this thing called Love in a Box or Love Boxes, and they are so amazing. I've sent already a bunch because I'm all about this, okay? They send these boxes to women who are at risk for getting abortions. So if you know someone who has an unplanned pregnancy, who's who's pregnant with a child they you know, didn't plan for, right? You can send one to them, um, or you can just donate in, like, just say this is gonna be donated to whoever needs one, right? You can send $15 and they will send a box full of these just beautiful little goodies, a, a onesie that says best gift ever for a little newborn and um, a handwritten note saying like to the to the mom, hopefully mom, you know, saying you can do this, you're brave, like you're beautiful, all these just loving things. They have a notebook that says brave girl and just really cute stuff like that. All these things they send in a box to a woman who is at risk for getting an abortion. And I'll tell you this, these are powerful things, people. Okay, there are so many testimonies on their YouTube channel um, and on their website, which again is linked for you, uh, talking about women who were going to get abortions and then got a box and chose to choose life instead, um, who had their baby. There's a video that, the one I'm gonna link for you in the description, is a woman holding her child. All of them are holding their kids, but this one is a, so powerful. She said she had an abortion scheduled, she's holding her child, she had an abortion scheduled for whatever day it was, and that same day, she got a box called the Love in the Box, and she decided not to go through with it because of that box. And she's holding this child, telling this testimony, and I just don't think you can even watch it without crying. Like, it is so powerful and so beautiful. Just such an amazing story of how love can be so powerful. And so I'm all about it, right? And I'll talk about the end about how important it is to financially support them, even if you can't, you know, you don't have a lot of money, you're in college or something. I'll talk about how you can do that. It's only $15 for one box. And like I said, one box could literally save a life. Like all these children in these videos, they're standing right there, sitting right there in their mom's laps and you can see this is a child who was saved because of a box of love from possibly you <laughs> right like it's just it's really cool so that's embrace grace that's where this whole idea of being both pro-life and pro-love came from because their their whole idea is being both of those things being all about love and 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 sharing grace with people because we first received love and because we first received grace so that's the first one and i know i talked a lot in that one i'm not going to talk about all the other ones in that much detail but that one is the one oh i've known known about it for like since the beginning of the year like December and I've been wanting to share about it for all those months but I was like no I gotta wait till I pack all this in one video and and finally talk about it and here I finally did so ah, I love them please go check them out please like I said the next ones are gonna be a little bit shorter and that one was the longest but Abby Johnson is the next one I want to talk about she is the Planned Parenthood former Planned Parenthood director who was over over 22,000 abortions right she was I mean, she was huge in this whole women's movement and, and women's empowerment and women's right to choose and she really felt that she was doing what was right and then she saw an abortion herself, right? She had two abortions, she um, was ahead of this Planned Parenthood, she was employee of the year, all of these things she had done and she felt like she was doing the right thing until she saw one herself and it changed her life and now she is this absolutely beautiful, amazing leader in the pro-life movement who's, who's, who sits in front of Congress and who speaks all over talking about why she is pro-life and why God, how and why God changed her heart. And it's just absolutely amazing. Her story is, oh, so inspiring. She's the one the movie Unplanned is about. She wrote a book called Unplanned and she also wrote another one too. Now, it doesn't stop there, people, okay? I know I've already talked about her a couple times, but seriously, she's worth, she's worth hearing about a third time. So, her other thing that I haven't talked about is her ministry she started, which is called And There Were None. It's for people who are in the abortion industry who want out, or from people who have gotten out and who suffer from things like depression and PTSD. Because believe it or not, people who perform abortions get PTSD and other mental illnesses because of what they see and because of what they have done. People who are in the abortion industry have gotten out because of her. And it's just amazing. There is a, a statistic of, of people who, who saw Unplanned. I believe it was 95 people who saw Unplanned, the movie about her, and they left the abortion industry. Whether it was Planned Parenthood or other abortion clinics, they left because of her story and because of what they learned, right, about how abortion works and all the whole thing. Like, they saw it, they left, and they changed. And she offers counseling and support and just love to people who have left, um, support for people who have mental illnesses because of, again, what they've seen or, or for women who have had abortions and, and have that depression and have that PTSD or whatever it is you know, in terms of mental illness, 
or just even regret. She's there to love them and to help them and to counsel them through that and to pray with them through that. It's all a Christian organization. It's amazing. Amazing, okay? I told you it was worth telling you about again. She's awesome. Ah, next two I talked about in the last video, Dr. Leventino and then Leela Rose. Dr. Leventino was a former abortionist. He performed, I believe, over 2,000 abortions, a hundred of those being late-term abortions, and he talks about them all over YouTube. You can find them quite easily. His links will be in the description, nice and easy for you, but he, he lost his daughter to a, a car accident, and then he was Eventually he went back to work and he, he was performing a, a abortion and he was counting all the you know body parts after he had taken the child out and separated it into parts. He was counting them to make them make sure that they were all accounted for because if if they are not all accounted for and there's still a body part in the in the woman's body, she could die or she could get an infection or something really bad could happen, right? And he was doing this thing that he had done so many times and after he lost his child he realized, oh my goodness, like I just killed someone else's child. Like he saw his own child in this child he aborted and he changed his life after that. Like he, I mean, he left the industry and now he is a leading pro-life activist and he's just absolutely inspiring. He is an amazing, amazing man. And he was actually in Unplanned. I just found this out. He was, I thought I recognized him in the movie, but he had a little cameo and he played the abortionist in the movie. And so it's just, it's powerful. A story, again, a story of how God absolutely changed his life. Same with Abby. Like he absolutely he took this person who who thought they were doing the right thing and it absolutely changed them. Same with Paul, which I talked about in the last video, right? They all thought they were doing what was right, helping women and, and, and helping them get rid of this thing that they thought was going to hinder them from having the life that they wanted and all the stuff. Like, they thought they were doing the right thing and then God wrecked them and, and showed them something that made them have this wake-up call, right? Dr. Leventino, Abby, and Paul, all of them had the same kind of just life transformations in that moment where God was just like, look what you're doing. I want to change your life. And he did, okay? One more person. I know this video is probably getting lengthy, but I have so much to say, okay? Layla Rose, I talked about in the last video. She started, when she was 15, by the way, what a boss. She started Live Action, which is all about presenting to people how abortion actually works, just educating people on it, and also how to act, how to change, and how to get involved in the pro-life movement. And so, since I talked about her a lot in the last video and her organization, I'm not going to talk a lot more about it, but Again, it'll all be linked for you to check out what she has if you didn't watch the other video by chance or something. Whew, gotta take a breath in there. I've been talking really fast. I know people are gonna be like, Becca, you talk too fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, please turn the speed down. <laughs> so last people I wanna mention really quick are Allie, Ben, and Steven. Okay, they're, I'm gonna link at least one video from each of them or a podcast whatever. They each have a podcast. I'll link something from each of them to show you what they do and this, who they are because they're awesome people and I just love them. They're probably on the uh, on the side of like educating you more, right? The other ones are kind of what you can do, how you can take action. But these people, again, if you're still kind of like, well, I don't think abortion's fully wrong. I think it's a woman's choice, blah, blah, blah. Watch them and listen to what they have to say. They're great. So I know I've shared a lot of people and organizations with you, but I'm just gonna kind of sum it all up here one last time, right? Any of these organizations are great. And there are three main ways that you can take action if you are a pro-life activist or you are, you know, consider yourself to be pro-life. Any of these organizations I talked about, you can get involved in. Um, and then these are like the three major ways that you can, you can get involved, right? Financially is the first one. Donating to any of these organizations. A lot of them are nonprofits, so they're not just rolling in the dough or anything, right? Donating financially. Donating one love box or five love boxes, right? And I know for, for a love box, some of you, that could be expensive. That's $15 for one. I totally understand that. I know what it's like to for people to struggle, right? In college or when you work paycheck to paycheck, I know that can be a lot. And so what I would encourage you to do is to get two friends and you each get five bucks and you could save a life. Seriously, you can save lives. There are testimonies all over YouTube of people saving lives because of donating those boxes. So donate a love box and support um, any of the organizations or other organizations that are pro-life financially. Also, prayer is so important. And this is something that um, Abby Johnson has talked about and Dr. Leventino has talked about, the power of prayer. Seriously, there are, again, there are statistics and numbers out there of people who, when they're out there praying um, outside of abortion clinics, people don't show up to their 
abortion appointments. They don't show up because there are people out there praying. Whether they see them or they just are at home and they feel the stirring in their heart not to come, there are statistics out there showing that people are no show or no show to these appointments when people are praying. And that's just a fact. You can look it up. Abby Johnson talks about it and Dr. Leventino talks about it. And it's an unplanned if you haven't seen that already. So prayer is absolutely powerful. You can go and pray at the actual clinics or you can just pray in your car like I do because we don't have an abortion clinic around here. Praise God. But we, we can all pray no matter where you live around the world or really close to an abortion clinic. You can pray. The last one that I want to say is, is volunteering, which I haven't really talked about, but investing you, investing your time into someone else and, and into um, an organization that's doing awesome things like pregnancy care centers are great, okay? These are places that do not offer abortions, that do not support abortion. They are all about loving women, whether they have a pregnancy that's planned or unplanned. They support you before, during, and after your pregnancy. And a lot of them support you if you've had an abortion. They love you through it and they help you and counsel you and, and, and work with you through. If you, if you struggle with depression or other mental illnesses, they help you with that, which is so awesome. And by the way, Planned Parenthood would never do that. Planned Parenthood would never do that. These kind of places actually care. They truly do care. They're not all about money. They care about the woman and they want to help her. They want to help her kids too. They love you and help you in supporting and loving your own children. They do it through love because they care. It's not about money with them. It's it's something that's that's actually, believe it or not, just because they really do care about women. If there's no secret agenda there. So you can volunteer at pregnancy care centers. If you can do that, please do. I'm going to link a, a, a link and <laughs> I'm going to link a link for you where you can put in your zip code and see if there's one near you. There's a lot near me that I, you know, when I put in mine, I was like, man, there's a lot more around me in here in Illinois than I thought there were. So praise God for that. But those are the three main ways, financially, through prayer and volunteering. Any of these organizations, I would highly encourage you to check out, research more about, pray, pray about volunteering or starting that curriculum at your church. Do anything that you can to get involved. If you consider yourself to be pro-life, don't just think it is wrong and don't do anything. Let's take action and let's rise up, okay? Let's rise up and do this. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I love you. And that's why, again, I make this video. It's not because I'm pointing fingers. It's not because I'm sitting here as a judge. It's because I have been given love and I have been given grace. And I want to show that same love and that same grace to you and to anyone else out there. Okay? Have a great day and know that you are so loved and so beautiful. I thought that I was too far gone For everything I've done Yeah, I'm the one who dug this grave, but you called my